Welcome to the art club. <laughs> so today we're gonna be making our own pet rocks. Okay guys, so we are going to attempt to make some pet rocks. And I mean, it's not really like we're making anything much except we're just giving life to something that already exists. And in this case, I have a few rocks that I bought, but you can actually just obviously find rocks from outside. But if you do that, just make sure you scrub them really, really well and dry them really well so that they look a little bit more like this. This rock is so smooth and perfect. I really like that one. But you can make a pet rock of any size and I thought that this one looked like a little alien head. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to give it that kind of a character. And this one kind of stands up on its own like you can't really tell but when I put it down it stands up in a really cute little way so I thought I'd use that one. But there was also this one, and my son Titus said that it looked like it would work well to make sort of an angry looking guy. So my idea with pet rocks is that you take rocks that look all different and some of them look all bumpy and messed up and you just try to make a face out of what's already there. So they don't have to be perfectly smooth and soft and round but the the bumpy and weird ones are actually the fun ones so I'll start with this one and all you need really this is all I used anyway is some white paint as the underneath for the eyes so you just take a bit of white paint with a really small brush because it'll be easier that way so you're gonna focus 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 you just paint whatever size the eyes are going to be. Now these eyes are gonna be the angry ones. And something else that I've been painting in them is sometimes there's a space, like a crack where the mouth is gonna be. And so I just do like little teeth. Kind of like that. <laughs> Maybe I'll put some teeth over here. Because his mouth is pretty big. Okay, so there's that one. Now this one, we have such a big surface to work with. I think I could make some big eyes. Big soft eyes, because the rock is soft. <laughs> so maybe the personality of this rock is soft too. Now you want to make sure you never put a pet rock in your mouth or throw rocks. I always tell my boys, that's like the first rule of life. Don't throw rocks. Right, Titus? Mm-hmm. He's doing a build battle here beside me. I would show you, but I can't move the camera. Wow, what are you building? Wow, it's so nice. It's a clock. You're building a clock? Yes. Build battles are a great way to test your Minecraft building skills. And a great way to waste time because they take so long. So there's that one. And now this little guy. And our alien. How do we make alien eyes? White? There's no white, right? Uh, I would do green with a white shine. Ah, okay. I don't have green. Brown? Would brown work? No. Blue? Blue. Yeah. Blue. So why pet rocks, you might ask? Why not? Why not? Exactly. <laughs> 
because they're so cute. You know, I, I actually really love rocks. And I used to kind of, I didn't really collect rocks per se when I was a kid. But if I went to a special place, I would try to take a rock with me. And sand too, I used to collect some sand from Florida or wherever the sand was different. In the Caribbean, sometimes the sand is really different. And I would have taken some sand from the Salton Sea because all that is is crushed up fish bones. But I couldn't stand the smell long enough to get down by the water. So maybe someday I will have a gas mask and I'll go back and then take some of that. <laughs> Although where would I put it? Because it stinks so bad that I don't really want it in my house. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. <laughs> so here's my little alien head. <laughs> it looks, you know, some people do pet rocks and they paint the entire rock and you can obviously do that. But I like to keep the original color of the rocks because I think they're so pretty. And I don't know, I like that raw sort of look. So let's make this guy have blue eyes. So basically, you just do, actually this needs a second coat of white. Can you see how it's like transparent? Luckily, acrylic paint dries fast. So basically you're doing like the eyeball when you do the white part, and then you do the iris inside that white ball. The iris is the colored part. So that's what I'm gonna do. So now, let it dry. How about we make this one with brown eyes? My little pet Rocky. So we just do a little dot in the middle or wherever you want him to be looking. In this case, I guess this rock is going to be looking directly at you. So that's an idea. But you could also make them looking off to the side if you put the dots both to one side or looking upward if you put them up high. You get what I'm saying. So I previously painted some other ones and I'm going to just add the irises to them now. So my battery died, so I don't know how much you guys heard. Anyway, the last thing I was saying, I think, is that I'm going to now add the iris. So this one's gonna have blue eyes. I'm gonna add the iris um, to a few other ones as well. This one. Oh, it's like a paint on the table. This one. Look at this one. This one, I really uh, took the shape of the rock and made like a mouth. I don't know if you can see how that is. <laughs> that one, this little guy, this one, and this one. All right, so here I go. So right now, I've just been 
painting the shine on these eyes. And I actually have a lot more that I'm working on. So let's put these guys in a line here. That one's kind of ugly. So ugly, he's cute. This one, I don't even understand. Like, he is a very unique individual Let's see. because pet rocks every single one is different just like with people everybody's different and that's why I think they're so cool So what I'm doing now is I'm covering the eyes with like a varnish and it should protect them but it should also make them a little bit shiny. It's this stuff, it's kind of, this bottle's really gross but um, this is a water-based varnish. I don't know if you can see that. There it is. And so you can buy it anywhere. I, I think about that at Walmart. It just gives the eye a little bit of shine and seals it. So that's what I'm doing now. Look at that one. The mouth is just within the rock. So these are all the pet rocks that I made. And I put leashes on some of them, as you can see. So you can take your pet rock for a walk. <laughs> I've got some bigger ones and some smaller ones. And these are really easy to do and really, really fun to make. So I hope you guys give it a try because I didn't expect this to be this fun. When I had the idea of making pet rocks, I was like, eh, that's probably gonna be boring. But it's actually been so, so funny and fun that I would highly recommend this as a project when you're bored and you got nothing else to do and you find cool rocks maybe in the river or by the side of the road. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Bye. So that was it on making pet rocks. Let me know if you thought that was a good idea or maybe a really not good idea. Either way, I had fun doing it. I hope to see you guys next time right here on the Art Club. Click subscribe if you would like to be an Art Club member yourself. And don't forget to write to me, write comments. I love hearing from you guys. I love all your comments. And thank you for watching. See you next time.